Hello everyone, this is uh, Yvonne Markland with KG Interactive. Today we're going to take a look at creating a simple destruction, rigid body destruction in Houdini and then importing it into Unity. So the first thing you need is to get this, uh, the game development tool set. I'm going to link to it in the description and here. So let's download the zip. Once I have it downloaded, I'm just going to take these three folders and throw them into users, your username, documents, Houdini version. Let's just put them here and I'm going to replace the files. You just put them in for the first time. Okay, great. And here we are in Houdini. So I'm going to click this little arrow here and go to shelf sets and select game development. Now we have these three new tabs. We're going to be using rigid bodies later. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is to import a FBX in this case. And I'm going to go to my export and import. I'm going to find myself my fat man from Echo Tales that we're working on and uh, get rid of everything except for the geometry and then remove the convert to Y up coordinate system. It might cause problems if you don't do that. It might if you do. So here we have him. He's rather large at this point and Houdini generally doesn't like it or doesn't dislike it. It's just when it's this big, it's gonna simulate uh, really slowly as if though this guy was 200 meters tall. So let's jump into this sub network. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is create a grid for later. I'm gonna stick it here. Let's jump into the man fat here. Uh, it's going to be way easier to work on him if we is that a transform. There we go. And gonna set the scale to 0 0.01. And then I'm gonna copy this parameter, paste copied relative, and paste copied relative. And I'm just jumping through those by pressing tab, uh, spacebar F to jump up close. And there we are. Awesome. Let's do the first part. Uh, we're gonna scatter some some points. On him like this. As you can see, it's filled with points. Let's put that down to about 150 points. Next up, we need a Voronoi fracture, and it takes two inputs in this case uh, the geometry to fracture, which is going to be our Echo Tails man, and then uh, points to select where it's going to fracture. At this point, it just fractures everything that's do this, we're gonna visualize the pieces. You see they're pretty much the exact same size, which is rather boring. So in the scatter node, we have a density attribute. So if we open that, then we don't actually have a density attribute. So let's, let's create an attribute and we're gonna call that density. And whoop, there's back. No changes, but if we add a paint node here, and instead of painting color, we just press override color and set this to density. Then we can, if we press D, get a geometry display option here. Uh, currently, it'll show the color of our thing, or little guy here. So I'm gonna override the color attribute with density. And density is already set everything to zero like this. And uh, since it is a single float, when we start painting, I'm just gonna press enter, return. Now it turns red. And that's only because it's a single float and it's gonna use the first uh, vector 
in terms of being color the first vector slot <laughs> x uh, we can also smooth this out a bit and jump down to our one eye fracture and as you can tell this area is way more fractured than the rest of the body if we see the scatter there's way more points around here as well so we can actually have this visible while painting out some more and making this less these parts less huge okay now I think that that looks fine to me so let's, let's press escape to get out of that mode and then we're gonna remove override color attribute and close this cool now I don't know I, this works for for um, these assets so let's see if it works here as well we're gonna do another attribute create and I just right clicked here and then wrote as normal to to create this and we're gonna set the name to unity material which is a unity specific parameter or attribute and then I'm gonna set this to a string and I've already created a material inside of unity which is called m other echo tails lech statue all right up next i'm actually going to put that before this attribute create i'm going to put down a uv unwrap node if we go to the Voronoi factory here and I'll hold down spacebar and press 5 while hovering over here uh, you can see the UVs and the fracture has kept the UVs for the outer part if we check the groups here there's an exterior group called outside and that's this part and that's the original UVs and then there's the inside and they're just everywhere and nowhere currently so if we go down to the UV unwrap, you can see here that we can select a group and in this case we're going to go with the inside group so that it doesn't override our original UV mapping and I'm going to pull down the spacing like to zero, almost to zero and uh, now everything's laid out the way we, we want them to be Cool. And uh, spacebar one to go back into perspective mode. And while I'm out here, I'm gonna take the grid, uh, go to the rigid body shelf here, and I'm gonna make the grid a static object. And then I'm gonna take the man fat, and I'm just gonna create a simple. Uh, let's go with a glue packed object to be packed object like that okay so it's gonna break apart it's gonna pre-solve a bit and then uh, oops you should always be on frame one when doing that I don't know what I did there so as you could see this guy just sort of falls down a bit and that's because the activation number is set too high uh, if you want to you can create some really cool networks here to be able to throw something at the guy etc for now I'm just gonna activate this at zero set this to 150 frames and let's play it as it's breaking I can tell you a little bit about Echo Tales it's a project that me and my colleague is working on in our spare time it's gonna be an item shop management game so uh, if you want to try that out you should definitely follow us on Facebook and and subscribe cool so that's uh, that's that so I mentioned this thing about scales before before I uh, exported this into an uh, adopt network we transformed it quite a lot now this is what the um, animation would look like if we hadn't actually done that transformation And I mean, it really does look as if though he might be 
a few hundred meters tall or at least 20 or something meters tall and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want but in this case it just wasn't so let's continue with the tutorial let's jump out of the autodop network and select it we're gonna set the start frame to a animation start minus one which in this case you should also do this when you're on the first frame but that would be zero and at zero in this case or animation start minus one then it doesn't matter where you're on the timeline uh, it should be completely unmoved so everything should look as if though there's not a single fracture being done to it like already here at one you can see there have been some parts moving okay next up we are just going to go in here select our man fat here and cre create our export minus this one to create a pre-fractured pre-animated one and now it's going to process our frames and while it's processing frames blog.kginteractive.net you should definitely check it out there's going to be more Houdini news there uh, rigging yeah everything you can think about it's also going to be on this channel of course so you could also subscribe and um, that's that cool let's just close this down and open up my unity project Let's see here it is the fatman fracture.fbx I'm just gonna throw that into this echo tails fracture here okay let it import I'm gonna toss it into the scene here oh forgot to actually rescale it that's fine we can do this for now doesn't seem like this stuck uh, that was the attribute test we did uh, doesn't seem like that works with the uh, FBX files uh, also seems like it's sort of broken already but those things you can just play around with until you get it right I'm actually gonna set the rig to to legacy make it play instantly without any problems at all and then let's set the wrap mode to loop okay and uh, with that we we have our animation our little leg here from Echo Tales just falls asunder now um, if this is efficient or not I, I don't really know. You can see the stats here. I haven't tried this out a lot. This may be quite a lot too many pieces. It might be nice for pre-rendered. I don't know, but this is how you do it. And uh, if you do use it, please let me know. I would love to, to see what you're doing with these techniques. And uh, thank you for listening. Echo Tales on Facebook and um, Echo Tales everywhere. Follow us on Twitter as well. The blog. Whoa. I not, you know. You might learn something or you might buy something from us in the future, which would be even nicer. Okay. Thanks again. Bye.